and welcome back to my channel. So I obviously had a little bit of a break over Christmas and New Year and didn't make any new videos and this now is the first video of 2020. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a good New Year and I'm pretty excited about this year. I think it's going to be a good year for Debs and obviously I'm going to take you along with me for as much of it as I can. So today's video is going to be a bedroom tour. Now if you watch my videos you'll know that last year I moved house. I've already got a video on my channel of a tour of my old house. I now have moved back into rented and I haven't really shown you guys properly any of the house and I know loads of you have asked to see and have a tour and I thought I would break it down into areas and so I'm starting with the bedroom. Now I haven't done much in the bedroom Bedroom, apart from put all of my stuff in it and it does all sort of fit there's plenty of storage there's two really really nice fitted wardrobes which I'm going to show you around there's a really cool little um are we going to call it a room it's kind of a room a cupboard which I have transformed into my little beauty and like getting ready room which I love my bed fits you know and actually I really like it I haven't aesthetically done much with it, I haven't decorated, painted, wallpapered or anything like that. I've put up a couple of pictures, that kind of thing. But I thought that I would show you guys round, show you how I've got it set up now and a little bit of a tour around my wardrobe, around my closets and I said a little bit of a look at this beauty room as well. But I hope you enjoy having a good nosy and then hopefully the next tour I'm going to do will be the downstairs, the living room and dining room because I know you guys have wanted to see that as well. So but yeah, let's get going with my bedroom tour. is my sort of bed area. Now you might have seen this on my Instagram TV. I did make a video all about how I was getting cozy for winter. It was a collaboration with Next, uh, but it was all about all this lovely bedding and how I was putting up fairy lights and everything. And it, that's the way this room has been since that video, because obviously uh, it has been winter and it's been lovely and cozy. And I really like the setup. So the bed itself is from uh, my old house. It's the same bed. It's one of those storage beds that lifts up. I'm not going to show you inside because it's just like chaos but pretty much what's inside is all of my jumpers because they take up the most room so it lifts up on a hydraulic and I can hide all my jumpers inside so yeah so I've got um fleecy bedding it's so nice this bedding like honestly it is the coziest thing to sleep in in the world like honestly I'm such a fleece convert I won't keep this on forever when the temperatures outside start to warm up. I think it will become a little bit too hot. But for now, this is the way I've got it. On top of that, I've got this really, really nice grey, um, it's sort of like brushed cotton, strokeable cotton uh, duvet set. And it's got these little twinkly, um, sparkly stones on uh, some of the pillows and the bottom half of the duvet then I've got this amazing um, throw which is kind of like textured um, I don't know like it's hairy kind of but oh my god Gus likes to sit on there sometimes if I'm up here a lot I'll let Gus come and sit on the bed I don't normally let him upstairs to be honest but I don't like to leave him downstairs on his own if I'm sitting up here for a while so um, yeah this is lovely he really loves it and I'm really really I love the colour and I just think it adds like some texture to the bed then I've got some cushions, just, you know, for decoration. But yeah, kind of pink and grey theme going on in the bedroom. Um, so yeah, the bed sits in the middle. Um, it just about fits. It's a little bit tight in this room in terms of bedside tables. There's not enough room for me to have a bedside table either side. So I've got one bedside table over on this side and then have a little nifty stool here with a couple of bits on it. So I couldn't put a bedside table on this side um, because then I've got wardrobes over on this side of the room and it pushed the bed too far that way. So I just have a little stool here because I actually sleep on this side of the bed. Well, actually I sleep in the middle, let's be honest, because I can starfish. But I have this little stool here just with a couple of bits on it, a couple of bits of beauty products. I've got my five minute journal, which is a journal that you're supposed to fill in, oh, uh, which is a journal that you're supposed to fill in every day. Um, that's next to the bed with a pen. Some beauty products, my headphones, because sometimes I like to listen to um, meditation and things in bed. So I've got my headphones there. And then this little remote, which is for oh, my favourite thing in the world. So these were part of my collaboration with Next for winter. And it is these LED candles. 
Um, they're actually real wax on the outside and then they're fake on the inside and they do um, flicker. And this little remote turns them on and off. Look. Ah, uh, isn't that cool? So I get into bed at night and I click them on and they give this lovely glowy light. Um, so yeah, they're just down there on a little stool that I painted grey. I got the stool from a boot sale, I think. And that just sits there just so I can put a drink on it and whatnot. And there's a plug there for me to charge my phone. And then above the bed, I've got this little um, picture ledge, which is just one of those Ikea picture ledges. On there, I've got some prints some fairy lights, a little illustration that was done of me at an event years ago and my Eddie picture which you might have seen on my Instagram so that's um, all of Eddie's blanket impressions <laughs> from seven years of owning him uh, all put together in a sort of piece of artwork and I love it, I think it looks really really sweet so that all sits above my bed so over on this side, let's do this so you can see, it's really hard to film the bedroom because although when you're in it, it feels like a big room, camera wise and filming wise, I mean, I've got a wide angle lens on, but it is quite hard to get everything in. So hopefully you can get a sense of the room. But yeah, over on this side, I have got a bedside table um, and it's just about fits. I had to find one that was quite small so that these wardrobes could still open. But yeah, the little table was a B&M bargains find. I did actually paint the legs uh, a pinky colour. It's just a little one drawer table. It was super cheap. Uh, and on top of it, I've got um, just some little vases, some foxtail pampas grass, a little picture of Eddie, which came from my old house. So in my old house in the ensuite, I had two pictures of the dogs, one of Gus and one of Eddie. So my little one of Eddie sits there. And a little lamp, which was a little Matalan lamp. So yeah, that sits there um, next to the bed. That's obviously like a reading light if I need it. Um, and yeah, so that's the bed area. Okay, so over on this side of the room, this is where you come in. So here is um, the door uh, to the bedroom. And I've got, again, these are from my old place. These are Ikea units, they're the Malum. Uh, one Malum, four draw, and the tall Malum unit as well. I've also got along here a little uh, laundry basket as well, which I found at um, TK Maxx, good old TK Maxx. Uh, which, yeah, just has all of my laundry in there and fits in with the grey theme. So, yeah, here on my Malums, I have got all of my jewellery. Um, so I've got a little jewellery stand here with my jewellery in. A uh, jewellery box here with lots more jewellery in. I have so much jewellery, like it's ridiculous. Little dish um, full of more jewellery. Little ring holders. I love these. These are from Oliver Bonas. Um, then all of my perfumes are displayed here on top of this box. So inside the box are some older perfumes and, and the boxes. This is a little Ikea tub. Some hair slides on display in a little tray. Um my Kate Spade bracelet and then on top of my thin Malum I've got uh, a picture which I got at an event um, years ago a Jaeger event and I just love it it's a gorgeous illustration of a Jaeger outfit and then some beauty products these are new beauty products actually this is a brand called Emulsion I've just been gifted all of this very clever um, base products that then you add scent to or extra like for example the face cream you use just a basic face cream then you can add different um things to make it either a day cream or a night cream for different types of skin it's really clever um so i'm working my way through them because i'm going to do um test them out maybe feature them in a video if i like them so yeah in this tall malum is all of my jewelry in the top section then underwear and things like that and then I've got belts and things. This Malum's got all sorts of different things. Beauty products in, the bottom drawer is all of my loungewear. I'm not going to show you because I'll be honest, they're really not that neat at all. Um, everything is a bit shoved in but they're pretty much the same arrangement that they were in the old house and I think if you watch my jewellery storage video um, everything is set out exactly the same so there's no point showing you all again. So yeah, so these fit in really well, there's still lots of room to get past. 
But as I said, I've not done anything with the colour, so it kind of looks a little bit plain at the moment, but obviously with a rented property, you have to ask permission before you can do things. So I started just by asking permission for things like putting up um, the shelf and whatnot, and I want to think about colour a little bit later down the line, because obviously painting is a big thing. Once you've done it, you've done it. So, so yeah, so they sit there. A few other bits around the room. Uh, over here in the corner, I've got um, a mirror uh, just up against the wall. Got pink curtains, so I changed the curtains that were here. They were black, um, but it already had a curtain pole up. Um, so I've got my beautiful feather light. Now, you might remember this in the old house. This used to be in my office. I could never have it in my bedroom because my ex hated it. Ha ha ha, now I don't have to ask anybody. I can have a big fluffy feather lampshade and nobody can tell me otherwise. So yeah, it's in my bedroom now, I love it. On the floor at the end of my bed, I've got the most, I love this rug so much. So this was gifted to me by Laradu. It's a Laradu rug and it's actually designed for kids, but don't tell anyone because I think it's absolutely fabulous. And um, I used to have it in my office and now it sits at the end of my bed. It's got grey in it, it's got a little bit of pink in it and I just think it looks really, really cute. Um, and yeah, it sort of fits in with the, the pink and grey theme and it's just a little bit fun. Why not, eh? On my windowsill, I've got just a candle and a little fake plant and my other little picture, which is this one, is my one of Gus, which is in a pink, uh, it's a pink print, black and white with a bit of pink and in a grey frame, so it matches with my colour scheme. On the other end of the windowsill, I've got a few DVDs. So this chair used to be um, in my office in the old house and originally here it started off downstairs and then I had a bit of a rejig around and it didn't fit so it's come upstairs because I didn't want to get rid of it I bought it on eBay and I love it and I've never got around to painting it or reupholstering it or anything um, because I wasn't sure where I was going to live and what colour scheme I was going to do so I think I'm going to go with just leaving it as it is for now because I quite like it and it sits here in the corner it does occasionally get in the way of the wardrobe um, but I tend to just shove it out of the way, um, it doesn't bother me too much. Up here on the wall I have got my TV. Now I love watching DVDs uh, and TV in bed and when I moved in there was already on the wall this bracket. Um, so I bought myself a little white TV, um, it's got a built-in DVD player, it's got free view, all of that shebang and it moves around on the... Um, on the frame, oh you can see my ring light reflected, it moves around on the frame um, so you can get it out the way of the wardrobes, you can position it for you so you can watch um, whatever you want in bed and yeah it's really cool and it was really cheap as well um, as TVs go so oh it's covered in fingerprints isn't it? So next I think I'm going to show you the wardrobe so I, as I said I was really lucky that this room um, already had built-in wardrobes and they're really good, they're really spacious, they fit all of my stuff and I'm so happy because I was a little bit worried about where everything was going to go. So let's have a little bit of a wardrobe tour. So um, yeah, first of two wardrobes, as I said, already all built in um, and the doors, as I said, the positioning of the bed was a little bit tricky to get the bed in so that these could open but there was plenty of room on that side. The door just open all the way around. It gets slightly interfered with by this big furry throw, but these things don't really bother me. And I think you have to just, when you move, you just got to accept that things are a little bit smaller. Um, and yeah, you just cope with it, I guess. But, <gasps> da da da! I mean, that is a big, big wardrobe. And there's two of them. There's two of them! I was so excited, honestly. So, all of this was already built in, already got shelves at the top. I've added a little shoe rack down the bottom. And the only other thing I did was I added a central support um, to this uh, pole, because it was slightly bowing. So I bought myself a little support um, and put that in just to make sure that the whole thing didn't, you know, collapse. So in here is my like what I would call my everyday wardrobe and it is slightly arranged. It doesn't stay as neat as this all the time, but I do try. So along the top, I've got hats up in the corner. Um, I used to collect fedoras. I've got so many of them. Um, and so they're all stacked up there. I've got some of my nicer shoes along the top shelf there. 
um, I've placed them that way round because I can straight away tell what pair of shoes it is and I can see them really well. Next shelf down is all of my jeans which are all rolled up and sort of arranged into colour. Uh, and then we've got a box of all of my flat shoes here over in the corner. And then down into the wardrobe, so the wardrobe itself, as I said, is, is slightly arranged and it's arranged sort of tonally as it were. So starting from this side, I've got um, all of my khaki stuff. Um, so this is everything, khaki trousers, khaki tops, khaki jackets. Uh, then we've got black, um, black jumpers, black leather trousers. Now, if you remember when I was moving, I talked about having a really good clear out of everything I owned and I really, really have. I've really tried to pare back my wardrobe to the pieces that I genuinely wear all the time. And I've learned that my style is very chilled, very casual. And so they're the pieces that I keep in my wardrobe because I know I get them out all the time. I have a slight denim obsession, as you can see, but I do live in jeans. And so I don't particularly worry that I own that many pair, pairs of jeans but yeah so these are my most worn sort of items so we've got my leather joggers my coated jeans we've got black <coughs> excuse me black smart trousers although that jumper is putting fluff all over them uh, then we move on to gray we've got um gray items so gray jumpers i think there's three of them there there's that cashmere one that emma gave me then cream Got some cream jumpers here, which don't live in the bed, they live in here. Got a couple of cream um, shirts here, and then on to white. Basic white t-shirts. Um, I love um, a basic white t-shirt. I've got some others as well, which I'll show you in a minute. A couple of other cream um, things, and a brown cardi. Now we're moving on to sort of browns. And more neutrals, we've got that um, lovely blazer from the summer, that's there more beiges and browns then onto this side we've got um again more neutrals more beiges here's all my basics so you've got basic uh white lacy cami basic vest tops all in neutral colors then black basic vest tops and black basic tops couple of bodies then stripes stripe tops bright t-shirts blouses couple of blouses there um, and then trousers, smart trousers, skirts, all on one hanger. This is a new little faux leather number, which I am very much enjoying. Then we've got jumpsuits. So these are my most worn jumpsuits. My khaki one, my gorgeous denim one, um, this cream one from New Look. My pink cord one, which I just love. Dresses. Then we've got dresses here, some shirt dresses, quite a lot of black as you can see, spotty prints. So yeah, these are all dresses and then at the back we've got blazers and jackets. So plain black blazer, my Zara embroidered jacket which I've had a couple of years now I think. And yeah, more basic, um, either blazers or suits, so that's a whole suit together. So yeah, blazers and suits at the end. So that's that section of the wardrobe. Then there's some shelves here inbuilt and these shelves actually run um, the whole way along the two wardrobes. But in here I've got my t-shirts all folded up quite neat. So on the top I've got some basics. So these are either white, black, grey or blue with no design on. Then I've got all of my um, design t-shirts again arranged into colour. It doesn't always look like this but of course it looks like this for the video. <laughs> And then, yeah, white slogan um, tees on this shelf here. Then in the bottom, I've got loads of my shoes. So I used to have this shoe rack in the hallway in my old place, and now I've added it into this wardrobe. And there's loads of room at the bottom of here, and the door's still shut. So I've got some of my boots here. I've got my favourite um, Vagabond black boots and my favourite Amazon brown boots, which I've also got down there in black so yeah boots along the top there then I've got some of my favorite trainers along here and then more boots here on the floor and some shoes and some more trainers so yeah it's trying to squeeze stuff into every corner basically because I do own a lot of stuff 
and that's this first wardrobe so yeah as I said this is probably my most used wardrobe this section here and my jeans is probably my most got out so um when this is shut and the chair's in front, it isn't actually that big a problem because I tend to access this section the most and that's why I've arranged it like that. So yeah, that's wardrobe one, so let's have a little look at wardrobe two. Okay, so wardrobe two, as I said, it is a little bit tucked away, this wardrobe, and because I have got a bedside table here, this door does not completely open, which is, it is a little bit annoying, but I felt like the bed needed a proper bedside table and when I tried the bed further over, and honestly, I did so many things, but it opens enough to get into it and you'll see that what I've put inside, I'm not accessing that corner of the wardrobe that much, so it's really not that problematic. Um, similar to the other wardrobe, this one um, has a latch on it, so this one does open all the way out and as I said, the shelves from the other wardrobe run the whole way along into this wardrobe. So I'll be showing you on the other camera so that hopefully you'll be able to get a better insight into the inside but I have all of my handbags. Honestly when I came and saw this house and saw that it had all this storage and this kind of display I was quite excited I'm not gonna lie um, but also I like the fact that um, although you want to put your handbags out on display they can fade with the light so it's lovely that you can shut the doors and that does protect them all. So on the top shelf along the top here I've got um, brown so again it's all arranged um, in colour. Uh, I've got brown bags along the top here. I've got some of the original packaging from my Gucci and my Aspinall of London. My Aspinall of London bag which there is a video of me unboxing it, I'll link it, um, is inside there because um, I just wanted to protect it because it does scratch quite easily. Um, yeah, so I've got that all along the top shelf. I love to keep my packaging. Gucci's not somewhere that I spend my money regularly, so damn right I'm going to keep everything that it comes with. Then down on the next shelf I've got some of my favourite um, bucket and box bags. This was a really cute little charity shop find. I was so excited to find this little box bag. And then yeah, some other kind of little top handle and bucket bags. The more summery ones are pushed that way because obviously again I don't need them at the moment, it's winter. The next shelf down I've got some of my more expensive bags. So I have got my Gucci Dionysus here. I've got my <coughs> fake Chanel, um, I've got my Furla, my um, Mulberries there at the back, then I've got a Rebecca Minkoff, excuse me, a little Burberry and a little Michael Kors. So they're all on that shelf. Next shelf down is black, so these are all of my black bags, mostly high street. Um, these are all ones with gold hardware, then you've got some silver here, little animal print one, my recent... Topshop sale purchase which is just the sparkliest bag in the world <laughs> I love it tucked away down there is a little rucksack um, it's more summery that bag so that's tucked away along there then down on the next shelf is all pink pink bags well there's a red one there at the end pink bags little Rebecca Minkoff pink bag along to um, yellow mustardy and golds then down at the bottom you've got rucksacks, my bum bag, my gym bag and some other big bags which are tucked around that corner. So again I've tried to really use every single crevice of the wardrobe. Um, and then in this little bit of wardrobe, obviously this wardrobe is a lot smaller than the other one. And um, because um, you can't open the door fully because of my bedside table, I have tried to make this wardrobe be stuff that I don't need to get at all the time. So this section here on the pink rose gold hangers are all of my going out clothes. So obviously I don't go out every day, so therefore I don't need to get into this wardrobe every single day. So these are all of my sparkly going out tops, velvet, going out dresses, um, my yeah dressy like bodies and beaded tops and things like that. Um, I'm thinking I might do a video um, showing some of my going out outfits so if you want to see that like maybe 10, 10 outfits to wear on a night out or something like that do let me know in the comments. Um, also um, in here are coats so I've got some of my blazers, 
biker jackets and trench coats and again I don't need these every day so it doesn't bother me that they're sort of tucked away a bit. Then down the bottom squirrelled away that big bag that um, laundry bag is actually all of my really summery stuff so that's hidden down the bottom there and this storage box here is actually all of my hats and scarves that moves into the spare room when winter's over but for now it's in there so that I can get to them. Yes yeah, so that's wardrobe too all of my bags nighttime outfits and coats all tucked away in there. So the last thing to show you is my little beauty room. So originally I think this little room was designed to be another cupboard. Um, not so much a walk-in wardrobe but it's got a rail in it um, and I think that's what its original purpose was. Possibly originally it was possibly a toilet or something in the original house, who knows. But it has a little window in it and because it had natural light in it I thought wouldn't it be a nice place to sit and do my makeup because in my old house if you remember in my bedroom I had a dressing table and this room there is nowhere for that dressing table to fit and so I decided to see if it would fit in there it didn't however another table which I purchased from Ikea fit in there perfectly so I'm gonna show you it now okay so this is where the little beauty room is so it's um, the door to the bedroom is over here you come in here this is where the window is and it's basically next to my mallums welcome to my cupboard of beauty so this is it so essentially it was a little room um, as you can see there's a little window and there was a rail and some shelves and I found that this table from Ikea uh, it's a desk with little legs that screw in was literally the perfect fit for this room and in fact my lovely friend Emma when she first came to see me in the house asked if there was anything that I needed from Ikea and I said yes there was a desk and uh, she went and picked it up for me and yeah it fits perfectly so I've got my stool from my old dressing table um, my old dressing table was actually a um, desk and it's actually downstairs in, an, in a different room which I'll show you another time um, so it hasn't gone to waste um, it just it didn't fit it was too big so so yeah, this is, I think it's about £11, this little Ikea table. So I've got it sat in here. One of the first things I did was add um, some frost to this little window. So this is that PVC um, frost stuff that you can buy and you just stick it on the window. This window actually had um, a little curtain at it and um, a tie back so I took back took out the tie back and I took down the curtain um, and I've stored the curtain because I wanted the window just to be open and the frost lets the light in but I don't sit here doing my makeup um, with everybody staring at me so yeah so I've got the desk here so we'll start with underneath the desk so as I said I've got my stool from my old dressing table which is a little DIY under the desk I've got a plastic box with my hair dryer in, my straighteners, my curlers. I've got a little storage tower here with all of my beauty products in. Uh, my hair products here. Top drawer is all of my um, hair clips and grips and things. And then more beauty products in that box on top. And uh, just out here behind this unit is a plug. So I can plug my straighteners in and sit at this table and do my hair. Then on top of the table I've got this uh, basic mirror. This is actually from my old bathroom in the old house and now I've got it in here just um, sat up on top of the desk. And then this is all my beauty products so and I spent quite a while trying to work out how to store them all and I wanted to do it quite cheaply. Um, so yeah I've got these which are actually designed to hold cans in your fridge they're from Wilco's they're stacked up one on top of the other and I've got all of my foundations and things and the top and then I've got different products beauty products underneath and some lipsticks that I don't wear that often in there then on top of this I wanted to create some height and this is actually a little wire thing that's designed to go in your cupboards to create more height and storage space again it was from Wilco's 
So I've bought that um, and put on top of it this plastic storage unit, which is from somewhere like B&M or Home Bargains. And in here I've got lipsticks, lip glosses, mascaras, some of my palettes up here, um, eyeliners, highlighters, all sorts in there. And underneath I've got a little basket and that's got lots of my palettes in it, some of my favourite palettes. This one is gorgeous. This one is new. It takes me ages to open it. This is from Bare Minerals and it was just gifted to me before Christmas and I literally cannot believe the pigmentation in this palette at all. It is incredible. It is the Generation Nude Latte Palette really nice so my palettes sit under there there's a few skincare products under there as well then I've also got a smaller mirror which I can use for if I want to do more close stuff my brushes are here and on the window ledge is a little basket with my hair brushes in and then in this little box here is my everyday makeup so these are the products that I use every single day um, this is the bee's knees this is the Arborian CC Dull Correct. Now again, this is gifted. I have worked with Arborian previously, but I honestly genuinely love this. This comes out purple. It's a little bit scary when it first comes out. But you put it on underneath your foundation and it just makes your skin look so much more radiant. I really, really like it. So I'm using that every day. My current foundation is It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, again, I've raved about this in other videos. Um, this is just amazing. Um, I think your skin looks amazing with it on. Other products, oh, this is nice as well. Bare Minerals Bronzer. Again, this was just gifted to me just before Christmas. I'd never really used Bare Minerals before. I've been using this um, alongside my, I have a stick for doing contouring and I use that on top. My favourite eye cream, which is the Arborian CC eye cream. I worked on a paid piece of content with them over on my Instagram about this product because I loved it. And actually, I already used it when they approached me um, to do the piece of content. And that's how these things should work. You should be promoting things that you genuinely love. Oh, I also really like this Bare Minerals Mascara as well. So these are all my everyday products, all just in this little tray so I can grab it quickly and then put everything back in there. So yeah, so I sit there and do my makeup in the mirror and then I've utilised the little rail that obviously was designed for clothes. I've got all of my headbands um, hung on it and my hair scarves and I think it looks really cute um, all displayed. And then the next shelf up I've got a little acrylic nail polish stand with all of my nail polishes in. Um, some old glossy boxes, some of my favourite designs and a little basket here. I love these tissue masks, I've got loads of them. I asked for some more for Christmas and I keep them all in there. And then on the top shelf I've got some of my favourite packaging uh, which I've kept um, because as I said I bloody love packaging and uh, so I like to keep nice packaging. And yeah, it's got a little light in there, it's got a little window, it's really lovely and bright. And um, yeah, I just sit here at this little stool and I do my makeup in this mirror and it just works really, really well. And I think it's um, quite a nifty little use of a sort of random cupboard, really. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. Um, I actually, it's one of my favourite things about the house is this sort of random little bonus room. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I might like to do something with the back wall, maybe paint it a nice colour. Um, so when you open the door, it's like, you know, a bit like my um, my downstairs toilet in my old house was grey and really dramatic and really bold. I'm thinking maybe I should do something like that with this room. Um, so yeah, let me know if you think that would sound, um, sounds cool. And that's it. That is my bedroom. I hope you enjoyed today's video and having a little bit of a nosy round my bedroom. I can't wait to show you more areas of the house, especially downstairs, because I think it looks really, really nice. So that video will be coming very, very soon. Thank you for joining me in 2020 on my YouTube channel. I absolutely love making videos for you guys. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you again next time. Bye.